show already in progress. Folks, my next guest is best known as the co-writer of the 1997 Joe Pesci and Danny Glover blockbuster comedy, Gone Fishing. Please welcome J.J. Abrams. No, please. It is not every director wow. that people oh leap to their God. feet for. What an amazing crowd. Hi. Yeah, huge. <laughs> huge, huge gone fishing fans here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've also worked on a couple other movies uh, since then. I yeah. Have. I have, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, the big excitement uh, is uh, you're doing the new Star Wars film. Yeah. You're doing that? You're doing episode nine. Episode nine, yeah. Episode nine. It's very exciting. Okay, now if you could go back and talk to the young J.J. Abrams, yeah. how how would he feel about this news? How young were you when you started making films? I think it was some creepy dude with a beard who was just lying to me. I'd be like, get away! Uh, no, I I, I I I would never believe it in a million years. How old were you when you started making films? Ten. Ten. Well, I was eight when I started making movies. Ten when I saw Star Wars. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wait, can I just say one thing? Do you mind? What? Can I just for one thing? I just I haven't said this to you ever. No, hold on. This is important. <laughs> I ha I'm sitting here in this, I've never been in this seat. This is an unbelievable place, and it, it makes me think what you came into, how insane it is that you came into this job. The crazy triple gainer you did was, it was, it was not just following a legend in this room, but it was that you, after the Colbert Report, doing, following that, and you somehow managed to come into this place and just kick such ass. And I think it's amazing. I have to say... Time. My job's done. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I forgot what I asked you now. <laughs> well, you know what it's like to take over for uh, a legend, to take over a legendary franchise. Yeah. That's an unfair segue. <laughs> no, it's a totally fair segue. <laughs> well, you were a, you were a little you were a little twitchy about taking over. I was I, I was I was terrified, and and luckily was surrounded by incredible people and. and we had a lot of fun, and, and being back for episode nine is as surreal as it gets and, and really exciting. Uh, now, uh, you know, I can imagine, like, when you made episode seven, uh, which was, again, it's like the highest grossing movie of all time, uh, biggest opening weekend of all time, uh, uh, that's great, but the, 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 the gravy, <laughs> the gravy must be that, like, Disney and George Lucas and the fans are so easy to please. Like, all of them. <laughs> No, no one has any critiques of your so work. There's easy. no pressure. No, there's no, no pressure at all. But these, the fans are the, it, it, as scary as it is, yeah. to put yourself uh, in that firing squad, the opportunity is always bigger than the, the fear. Can I tell them what you did right before Star Wars? If you want to. You, you, I'm not sure what you're going to say. You called me up. You were in New York, and it was about two weeks before the yeah. movie opened. You said, can I come to your office and just drink? <laughs> <laughs> you came to my office. You came to my office right. and you, I poured just two glasses of Jameson. No. And you're like, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> In fairness, I didn't say, can I come to your office and just drink? Yes. I said, can I come to your office and drink? <laughs> Assuming we'd have a good conversation. And right, we, exactly. And we did have a good conversation. It was just drink, that might be a little. Yeah, yeah, creepy. yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what can you tell us about episode nine? I know nothing, but something. Anything. Uh, I can, uh, Is there a new weapon that has more on the, on the hilt? <laughs> Are there more things coming uh, I, out I, of the I, bottom? Does it rotate? Does, can, it, does it make julienne fries? <laughs> we, uh, we have a script. What? Which is a big deal for me. Um, Doesn't it start shooting this summer? It starts shooting uh, end of July. Okay, yeah, so yeah. a script would be handy. Uh, or we, improv. We, we're, we're, could we have the suggestion <laughs> of a time period and a location, please? <laughs> I heard Galaxy Far, Far Away and a long time ago. <laughs> Based on that, a $300 million movie. Uh, I wish it were that easy. Uh, sure, but, oh, why No, not? no, yeah. but uh, having a script in advance is, is something I, I haven't yeah. always been lucky enough to have. Oh, so you sometimes just see your pants? You know, it's a little bit like that. So yeah. it's, uh, but I'm, I'm writing this with Chris Terrio, who's a, a genius, and I'm having a great time. You've done the TV, you've done the movies. Now you've gone for the big bucks, and you're doing theater. You've got, you've got a show on Broadway uh, called The Play That Goes Wrong at the Lyceum Theater. Yes. I've seen it. It's hilarious. Oh, thank you. Uh, people here have seen it. It's, uh... How did you become a theater producer? 
So the, the play that goes wrong, uh, it, it's, it's the longest running, the longest running and funniest play on Broadway. It is, uh, it's, it's been there for about a year. Uh, I was in London, we were shooting uh, just after we had drinks, and uh, I went and saw this play, and it, I had never laughed that hard ever. And I, I met the producers and I said, listen, if you ever want to move it to Broadway, if I could be of any help, that'd be great. We stayed in touch, we got this amazing producer, Kevin McCollum, involved, who made it all happen. We've been on Broadway now. It's been unbelievable. There's a brand new cast. It is the play that goes wrong is truly hysterical. It's, it's, a, it's a hilarious. Show. I love it. I absolutely loved it. Um, well, uh, congratulations with that. We, Thank you. We got to go here. Do you want right. to stick around yeah. and have a drink or yeah, something? Yeah, I was like going to go. Uh, I was going to go to the see the play uh, oh, okay. after the show. You're welcome to come with me if you. If you I want. want to come? Have seen it, but I. <laughs> I would love to see it again. If it's a new cast, I'd love to see it. Can I? The cast is amazing. You should come. Could I bring a friend? You can bring as many people as you want. Could... <laughs> Do you want to go? <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. For real? Everyone. For real. Okay. Everyone. Everyone. Yeah. For real. Everyone's invited. For real. All yeah. of you do, you, if you. do you guys want to go see the play with us? <laughs> All right. Stick around. All right, we're going to take everybody here to the play right after the show. Don't go anywhere. Uh, <laughs> and you at home, go see the play that goes wrong on Broadway at the Lyceum Theater. And they're going to see it with us tonight. J.J. Abrams will be right back with a performance by Thorne.